Hey guys, it's Chris and today uh, we're doing capacitors. I did the 68,000 socket in the uh, 2000 the other day and uh, I thought, you know, these caps are 20 something years old so I might as well go through them. So with the help of a uh, magnification lens which has a little flip down thing uh, I'm able to see close up and there's two ways you can remove them. This solder gun has a little, uh, like a solder sucker, similar to the handhelds you'd use with braiding or whatever. And a braider, you're going to need braiding and your caps. But this solder gun makes removal easier. Uh, this is a Heiko, I don't know what model, S3U. And it uses standard Heiko tips. Um, I do have a FR301 clone that I showed you the other day. It's not here yet and I'm impatient. So I'm just using this Thanks. one. You are also going to need yourself some uh, no clean flux. And uh, yeah, it's good for three years, 2021. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna continue replacing caps and there are a bunch on the Amiga, 33 of them. And uh, I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this isn't going to be a deathly long video about me doing caps. And that's the capacitor replacement. A um, couple other things you're going to need is uh, your significant other's toothbrush or someone, an old toothbrush preferably. Uh, you're going to need a soldering iron or the Heiko. You're going to need some IPA. Uh, this is 91%. Uh, one of those legs of the cap stuck me. But what I wanted to show you is this. People talk about capacitors and capacitance and voltage and microfarads and, and all of this stuff. And Okay, so this is a multifunction tester. And what you do, these are some removed capacitors from the Amiga. So these are the ones that I've done. And I tried to save a couple with legs so I can show you this. This one in general, this is a 16 volt 470. So you put it in here and hopefully the pins will reach. And you press the button. And it'll tell you that it is a capacitor 407. voltage loss in the ESR 27 ohms. For comparison we're gonna do a new cap. So same cap, brand new. 407 was our previous. 422 V loss 0 0.06 ESR 0 0.1 and then we can flip it, test it again, testing again, and 430, 0, 0 0.09, much better. I didn't have it in the right direction. 0 0.3 loss, much better. So this is an actual good capacitor because it's brand new and longer legs longer legs are always positive and it's actually the stripe is always the negative on your cap. So I'm gonna get to uh, replacing capacitors. So I'm gonna fast forward all this. You're gonna see a lot of board flipping. And uh, we'll get all these, or at least some, replaced. I do like to uh, sometimes put some fresh silver bearing solder on the ancient joints because they're very old. This is a dual sided board and replacing these you can either, you can wick the sides, like these are examples, you can wick the sides of them um, or you can go from the back, which is what I usually do, solder, suck them out, braid and then remove. Make sure the holes are clean and then put the matching cap in. Uh, I do have a list in the description, which is this exact list which I typed up when I looked at every single part when I was going to do the 68,000 slot which uh, you can see has been completed. It's clean. The bottom was 
good, no broken traces. Dual side of board, you can see through it with the bright lights here. So, let's get to it. I can't do the Zoros yet. I can't do these because these are axials and they're 16 volt 220. But, uh, yeah, I don't have these yet. They should be in in a couple of days. Boom, and just like that, we are totally recapped, minus these four axials. We are ready, finally, for reassembly, and I have some news on the Vampire. The wonderful guys, if you're watching, thank you, from Team Apollo, have really hooked me up, and they've given me a blank four gigabyte uh, P3FS formatted uh, image to write to a card using Amiga Forever or my PC and to plop that in to do a base build for my install of OS 3.9 to see if the file system issues have been resolved with new caps, new CPU socket. Now I'm going to test this originally. I have the 314 ROM in here and it has a crazy serial number on it and I don't know what that's for. It's some Hyperion number. I thought it was an Amiga Forever thing. Uh, but no, it's just my serial number. We all have them on the new chips. So I'm going to try 68,000 uh, bare bones, nothing. Uh, IDE hard drive, maybe the original compact flash. Just plain Jane. See how she works. So there you go. That is a recapped Amiga 2000 uh, revision six so here we are with amiga 2000 reassembly so right now the board is in we're going to uh, put a processor in now on this i did have the uh 68010 i need to remove this because it's uh on the vampire that's what these round slotted ones are they're so quick to remove but i wanted official so notch to notch wow what a nice fit I'm not hossing this down just snugging it in there ROM is in there so let's uh let's get this puppy ouch repopulated Here we go, we're booting again. Oops, I'm booting off install. Sorry. Put the vampire on all that crap in. Okay, I don't care. I know Picasso needs the driver. I know. Figure finish what you're doing there, buddy. Uh clock found ECS Agnes 1 Meg NTSC Denise. ECS Denise NTSC high res 68010. It's nothing spectacular. This is a stock Amiga, so. I'm just showing you that it works, the capacitors work. So here we are, which Amiga 133, it's a 68010, 7.1 megahertz, no FPU, no MMU. ECS Denise, 8373, Rev Zero, ECS Fat Agnes, 8372A. It has a ECS Paula, 8364, and graphics system Amiga ECS. Clock found, one mega chip, eight megs of fast. So I don't know about you, but I call that a capacitor replacement success because it does function now I'm gonna strip all this crap out and put a vampire in it wanna watch
I knew I forgot something. Can't uh, get on the internet without this sucker. I am. Okay, so we're gonna fix the uh, resolution here. I'm gonna turn off this overhead system. Whoa, frack me, look how fast that is. 2D. Let's go benchmarks. Benchmarks. Oh, wow, lots of uh, benchmarks. AIBB. It's probably running this mode. Okay, so here's the Vampire and Coffin, 68060. EMB test. Do, do, do. Oh, kicking ass. You see all that stuff? And frack incredible. I get a whole screen in there. Okay, so ellipse. Just smoking them. Look at this. It's like way up here. It's smoke. It's 044,000. We're in a higher resolution. Much freaking better. So my problem with this was, let's say, copy the C drive to RAM. Okay, we're going to copy that to RAM. Oh, it's got the gold 211 cores on here too. So you can see it's copying fine. So now I'm going to make another directory on DH1 and I'm just going to call it copy test. I'm going to grab the little files out of here and copy them over. Copy. Look at that. You know what this means? It freaking works. Thank you, Team Apollo. You guys just kick ass totally in tech support, in everything. Look at that. Not only did you hook me up with the coffin, you told me exactly what my problem was with the regular compact flash. You guys even gave me a blank image of a 4 gig compact flash so I can do 3.9 and I don't have to do coffin, which we're going to do next, but not in this video. Yay! So I can delete everything out of uh, this RAM. There you go, guys. Coffin 54. Wait a minute, is this Shapeshifter? I don't know. Start. Is it a configured Shapeshifter? Suck my ass. That's awesome. This is it gonna work? No shit. I pulled the ROM off of my power bank. Ugh, excuse me. O30 under the desk there. It's a Quadra LC. I don't want to play Warcraft. Can you believe that? That is awesome. I wonder if I could set the resolution a little better. Is it kind of like... Is that it? Is the... Uh... Come on. I don't know if I can. You know, this actually doesn't run bad at all. So we got 256 Mac Res 800 by 600. Let's show. Well, okay, that's what we're doing. 800 by 600. We're in Mac OS. That is. Oh my God. This son of a bitch is like freaking loaded with stuff. Like loaded. Whoops. Like tons of games, Mac games. Awesome. Wolfenstein on Shapeshifter. Dude, that's freaking kick butt. So we're going to shut down the Mac, which gets us back to the Amiga. Yeah, bitch about the resolution. It's fine. What's this one? Okay. I don't know what I clicked on. I don't know what this is. S. It had an S on it. Scum. 
PCs. These are Suit Larry 6. Shape up or slip out. That's <laughs> So you can do the newer ones, but you know what? This is working. I'm not worried about it right now. 314 ROM can go in the 500. Boom. Thanks for watching. Take care.